Have you ever revisited a classic and found it to be more relevant than ever? The 1950 film Broken Arrow is one such timeless gem that continues to resonate with audiences today. Directed by Delmer Daves, the movie explores the complex dynamics between Native Americans and settlers in the Old West, challenging prevailing stereotypes of the era. When was the first time you watched this movie, and did it leave an indelible mark on your cinematic journey? The narrative unfolds against the backdrop of a changing landscape, both geographically and culturally, as it delves into themes of friendship, acceptance, and the struggle for understanding in a time of conflict. As we delve into the intriguing facets of Broken Arrow, consider sharing your cherished memories or personal experiences associated with this cinematic masterpiece. We would love to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. Now, let's explore some captivating details about the film that may surprise you. Did you know that Broken Arrow marked a departure from conventional westerns by presenting a sympathetic portrayal of the Apache people, challenging the prevailing stereotypes of the time? This progressive approach contributed to the film's lasting impact on the genre and its portrayal of Native American characters. Venture with us into the heart of this classic and feel free to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to Broken Arrow in the comments below. Your unique perspectives add depth to the collective appreciation of this cinematic gem. Broken Arrow, a cinematic gem from the 1950s, unfolds against the backdrop of the American Southwest, navigating the intricate dynamics between the Apache Nation and the U.S. government. This Western drama, directed by Delmer Daves, weaves a tale of reconciliation and understanding amidst the tensions of the Old West. The narrative centers around Tom Jeffords, a former soldier played by James Stewart, who seeks to bridge the cultural abyss between settlers and the Apache. His friendship with the Apache leader Kachais, portrayed by Jeff Chandler, serves as the linchpin for this tale of cooperation and tolerance. The film's poignant exploration of interracial relations was groundbreaking for its time, delving into themes of trust, acceptance, and the human cost of prejudice. Broken Arrow not only stands as a testament to the power of storytelling, but also left an indelible mark on the Western genre, influencing subsequent portrayals of Native American characters and relationships in cinema. Its legacy endures as a cinematic milestone. Jay Silverheels, a Mohawk from Canada, played an uncredited role as Geronimo in the 1950 Western film. Born Harold Smith, Silverheels later gained fame as Tonto, the faithful Indian companion in the long-running television series alongside The Lone Ranger from 1949 to 1957. His presence in the film adds an interesting layer to its historical context, bridging the gap between cinematic portrayals and the evolving landscape of Native American representation on screen. This connection to Silverheels is particularly notable as he embarked on the role that would define his career during the same period as the movie's production. His transition from portraying Geronimo in Broken Arrow to the iconic Tonto role underscores the evolving dynamics of Native American characters in the entertainment industry during the mid-20th century. This shift in Silverheels' career reflects broader changes in how indigenous individuals were depicted in popular media. The influence of such casting choices and the subsequent impact on Silverheels' career can be seen as a precursor to the broader shifts in Native American representation in film and television. It's a testament to the complex interplay between Hollywood's portrayal of indigenous cultures and the real-world experiences of Native actors during that era. Silverheels' journey from an uncredited role in Broken Arrow to the prominent role of Tonto not only speaks to the versatility of Native actors, but also highlights the industry's evolving understanding of the importance of authentic representation. This transition set the stage for further discussions about cultural sensitivity and accurate portrayal in the years that followed. In retrospect, Jay Silverheel's presence in the 1950 film becomes a pivotal point in the timeline of Native American representation in cinema, foreshadowing the significant roles that indigenous actors would come to play in shaping on-screen narratives. The uncredited Geronimo in Broken Arrow laid the groundwork for a broader shift in the industry, marking a turning point that would contribute to the ongoing conversation about diversity and authenticity in film. Lux Radio Theater broadcast a 60-minute radio adaptation of the film on January 22, 1951, featuring Deborah Paget reprising her role. This radio adaptation brought the narrative to a wider audience, showcasing the enduring impact of Broken Arrow beyond its initial release. 
Despite occasional claims that Broken Arrow was the first Western from the Native American perspective, it followed Devil's Doorway in 1950. It's essential to recognize earlier cinematic efforts that portrayed Native Americans sympathetically, predating the production code's adoption in 1934. Moreover, on September 7, 1951, screen director's Playhouse aired another radio adaptation, this time with James Stewart and Jeff Chandler reprising their roles. These radio adaptations further solidified the film's cultural significance, fostering an enduring connection with audiences. The transition from screen to airwaves emphasized the story's resilience and its ability to captivate diverse audiences across different mediums, contributing to its lasting impact on American storytelling. James Stewart at 41 stood 26 years senior to his co-star Deborah Paget, a mere 15-year-old during the filming of the 1950 Western drama in the American Southwest. This age gap, however, didn't hinder the cinematic portrayal of Tom Jeffords and the intricate dynamics with the Apache Nation. Directed by Delmer Daves, the movie navigates the complexities between settlers and the Apache, anchored by Stewart's character and his friendship with Jeff Chandler's Koch eyes. The film's narrative, while significant, reflects the broader historical context of Native American representation in cinema. Notably, it's crucial to recognize the nuanced approach to portraying indigenous cultures in the industry. While Broken Arrow wasn't the first Western from the Native American perspective, it underscored a turning point in the portrayal of Native Americans, contributing to the ongoing conversation about diversity and authenticity in film. Moreover, the transition from screen to airwaves solidified the film's enduring impact. Lux Radio Theater broadcast a 60-minute radio adaptation in 1951, showcasing the story's resilience and its ability to captivate diverse audiences. The radio adaptations with original cast reprisals emphasized the film's cultural significance, fostering a lasting connection with audiences across different mediums. In a peculiar trivia note, Deborah Paget, with piercing blue eyes, had to wear brown contact lenses to align with the visual expectations of Native American characters. This seemingly minor detail reflects the meticulous attention to authenticity in the portrayal of the film's characters. As we delve into the layers of Broken Arrow, it becomes apparent that the movie not only stands as a testament to the power of storytelling in the Old West, but also contributes significantly to the evolution of Native American representation in cinema. As the curtains gently fall on our cinematic journey through the nuanced landscapes of a bygone era, I hope the echoes of Broken Arrow linger in the corridors of your imagination. Just like the delicate dance of shadows and light in that black and white tapestry, this timeless classic has woven itself into the fabric of our shared cultural tapestry. As you sip the remnants of this cinematic experience, take a moment to trace the contours of your own connection with the narrative. Was it the raw emotion etched in the characters' faces or the haunting melody of the soundtrack that resonated with your soul? Perhaps it was the palpable tension in the desert air or the profound exploration of friendship and conflict that struck a chord deep within. Your memories, reflections, and insights are the brush strokes that color the canvas of our collective appreciation for this masterpiece. Share your thoughts, let them reverberate in the digital spaces we occupy and carve out a corner of the internet where the spirit of Broken Arrow lives on through the eyes of those who cherish its moments. In this age of fleeting digital encounters, let's forge connections that withstand the test of time. Your narrative, your perspective, and your memories add layers to the ongoing saga of a film that has become more than just celluloid, it's a shared experience that transcends generations. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic exploration with me. Your time and thoughts are the threads that weave the tapestry of our shared journey through the lens of Broken Arrow. Until our paths cross again in the realms of storytelling, may your reflections be as profound as the stories that bind us all.